Hey guys, Jay here. Today I'm going to do a video on how to record your underwater images uh, that you capture with your uh, AquaView. In this case, the model that I have is the 715C. It's been on sale a few times this year. And uh, Aiden and I both picked one up and it's been a game changer. It certainly levels up your game uh, for the day when you're ice fishing. Especially if you have small kids with you that get bored fast or quickly. This adds a certain level of excitement and engagement and honestly will help you catch more fish if the conditions are right. Uh, the lake that we've been using this on is a very clear body of water so not a lot of debris floating around, very clear water so you get really good images and you not only can see the structure and the fish but you can also see how the fish are reacting to your presentation so you can really learn how to change it or improve it or enhance it and I've got some sample videos I'll show you later in this video uh, to really Prove, prove what I'm saying, it was such a fun day. We caught over 50 fish and that's always fun for anybody who's ice fishing. Okay, so the setup to record is really not that complicated. I know there's a lot of videos out there. I really gotta give thanks to a few people. Um, their videos helped me figure this out. Uh, Clayton Schick has one and he also had some pretty good advice on there. And then Nicole Stone, she probably had the best video I've seen because she covered more than one model. She had covered Markham and Aquavi Aquaviews. Uh, so if you're looking for more videos, that would be the way to go. Okay, so I'm going to jump into it. Uh, first off, you're going to need is a power bank. Uh, it has to have two uh, power ports, not one, but two. Uh, reason being is you're running a couple power cables. So you need a power bank. You need a video capture device or a media capture device. In this case, I'm using the Aver Media Plus 2. I picked this up at Best Buy. Um, you then need, uh, because of this model, the 715C, you need an AV to HDMI converter box. I picked this up at, uh, from Amazon. It was uh, $19.99. And uh, that is it, plus the, the AquaView unit. And of course, you're going to need a micro SD card that goes into the uh, meter capture device, or in this case, my Aver Media uh, Plus. Okay, so the hookup's really easy. I've already got it hooked up, but I'll reverse it just so you, uh, you can see. So. The AquaView comes with an RCA port and it's yellow, so you need an RCA cable. The newer models have an HDMI port. This is why you need the AV to HDMI converter because you need to convert this to HDMI to go into the uh, media capture device. So RCA cable goes in, you plug it into the HDMI uh, converter, or sorry, AV to HDMI converter. You then have an HDMI cable running out and going in to the Aver Plus. Then to power both this unit, the converter box and the uh, media capture device, so there's a USB power cable or power supply that comes that goes into the converter. Put it into your power bank. Power bank is now coming on because it sensed uh, something in the port. You then take your uh, power cable from the Aver Plus, which is the another USB going into the power bank. Now that's powered up. Give it a second to, to go. Okay, so now that's powered up, because um, I had a question about this on another video I did, and uh, to know if your power, uh, your connections are correct and everything else, your Aver Media Plus 2, once you have power going to the system, you have this blue glow when it's recording you'll get a red pulse okay there's your red pulse right now it's recording uh, any, anything that's coming off this uh, I don't have it on I can turn it on you're not going to see anything because the camera is in the bag but with this screen on camera under the ice recording whatever it's recording um, it's being sent through the cable to the box to the HDMI cable to the Aver Media Capture device being put onto the card and that's it and then to stop recording you just push the button and you get the blue light so a um, couple of shout outs here or a few things a few points to reference first off thank you Clayton Schick he had a very good piece of advice and that is when you are recording I'm recording should you capture that big trophy fish or something exciting happened it's a good idea that once you settle back down and um, the, the excitement's kinda leveled off, you stop and start recording again. The reason why, so it's not recording, recording. The reason why is something that ever happens, if you lose power, if you lose your ability to record, at least that 
exciting moment that you wanted to have on video is captured by you stopping. It, what it does is it creates a file or, or a segment in the SD card so when you go back to look at it on your say laptop or desktop the video is there it hasn't been lost uh, and it can happen and uh, I think that's a very good and important piece of advice so thanks Clayton. Anyway so um, some other things that maybe just in case it's, it seems maybe your system comes out of the box and it's not uh, um, set up properly from the, uh, the warehouse or pr production line. Um, you can see the front here. I have this, they slide over these toggle bars. So it's at the middle setting and that is it. Um, see, I'm recording again. So again, it's not a complicated setup and uh, I, this is probably really repetitive in the video and I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to help you guys. Um, this has certainly helped me. And it's not as complicated as you might think. So we need a, a power bank with two USB ports. I've got the USB um, charging cable for the Aver Media Plus coming into it or coming from it. I also have the power coming from it to the uh, AV to HDMI converter that I picked up from Amazon for $19.99. And there's the power that's running into the power bank. And an RCA cable running into the RCA ports of the AquaView. That's it. So if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to message me, but it's a really simple setup. Um, I will uh, jump in and show you some videos um, from the day that we had, and it's some excellent footage. It's, it's exciting for anybody who's not used to seeing what's happening under the ice. So uh, let's get at it, look at some video.